we're on this planet, and Einstein's physics showed it, Max Planck's physics showed it, all of there's at least 12 dimensions. And now that's why all the top scientists and billionaires are coming out saying, it's a false hologram, it is artificial. The computers are scanning it and finding tension points where it's artificially projected and gravity's bleeding in to this universe. That's what they call dark matter. So we're like a thought or a dream that's a wisp in some computer program, some God's mind, whatever. They're proving it all. It's all coming out. Now, there's like this sub-transmission zone below the third dimension that's just turned over to the most horrible things is what it resonates to. And it's trying to get up into the third dimension that's just a basic level consciousness to launch into the next levels. And our species is already way up in the fifth, sixth dimension, consciously, our best people. But there's this big war trying to, like, basically destroy humanity because humanity has free will. And there's a decision to which level we want to go to. We have free will, so evil's allowed to come and contend, and not just good. And the elites themselves believe they're racing well, using human technology to try to take our best minds and build some type of breakaway civilization where they're going to merge with machines, transcend, and break away from the failed species that is man, which is kind of like a false transmission because they're thinking what they are is ugly and bad, projecting it onto themselves instead of believing, no, it's a human test about building us up. And so Google was set up. 18, 19 years ago, this was, I knew about this before it was declassified, I'm just saying I have good sources, that they wanted to build a giant artificial system, and Google believes that the first artificial intelligence will be a supercomputer based on the neuron activities of the hive mind of humanity with billions of people wired into it with the Holy internet of shit. things, and so all of our thoughts go into it, and we're actually building a computer that has real neurons in real time that's also psychically connected to us that are organic creatures so that they will have current prediction powers, future prediction powers, a true crystal ball. But the big secret is, once you have a crystal ball and know the future, you can add stimuli beforehand and make decisions that control the future.